All right, we're going to talk about putting in the subclavian line now. The subclavian line is described completely in my book, Anesthesia Unplugged, but we're going to show you with real life pictures a few things here. Here my finger is in the sternal notch, and now we're going to reach out to the side and feel about the two-thirds of the way out part of the clavicle. That's what we're going to walk underneath. I'm demonstrating here that with my finger, I'm going to be hitting the clavicle and sliding underneath it. My three fingers are going to push the needle down, always keeping it parallel to the patient. The idea is to never have that needle diving down into tiger country. You always want to make sure it's nice and parallel. That way you avoid getting a pneumothorax. So let's show it the real way with needles. You notice I'm gloved up now. There's a little lidocaine. This hurts, of course, so put a little local in. Now here comes my needle where I'm putting a little bit of local and now it's time to do the stick. You use the hollow needle. You don't bother using a finder here. You go in. Uh, notice how my three fingers are pushing the needle down, keeping it parallel to the clavicle, not diving down. The three fingers push the needle down just the way my three fingers before pushed my finger down. Keep it flat. That's a very important idea. Now I get some blood in the hub. I hook up my wire advance the wire. Again, we're very close to the heart here, so watch for ectopy. Pull that wire out. Now we make a nick. Slide in our dilator. You want to make sure you stick far enough out so that you don't get jammed between the first rib and the clavicle. When you do that, it's very hard to advance any kind of CVP or swan in. Now that we've already done the dilator, we're going ahead and we're putting in a cordis introducer here. Slide it all the way in. Pull the wire out. Again, you aspirate out all the air and flush. You see how I'm putting that needle in here straight down? That's what you'd not want to do. Do not do that when you are putting in a subclavian. You always want to keep it parallel. Parallel, parallel, parallel.